Hello and welcome to Retro Bikes Dublin. So I have for sale a uh, Honda Giorno 50, a really nice trendy 49cc four-stroke uh, bike. I really like the colour in this, it's our first one we've brought in. It's kind of more of an Italian uh, base design with Japanese uh, internals, which is nearly the perfect mix. So front tyre then is pretty much brand new. The bike only has 2,000 kilometres on the clock, so you'll ex be expecting it to be fairly mint, and it is. You might see a few little droplets of water has been spitting rain here, so that's it. There's no real marks to make note of at all through the top front uh, as well, which we've gone through the plastics here. Nice painted black alloy, bit of space for um, little gloves or something like that. You also have uh, here for putting plastic bags like you're shopping onto. Uh, this side here, little scrape here going on again, little imperfections on the right hand side of the bike. There's the major one. Apart from that, all very good. Being very fussy here. Underneath the seat then, it's uh, actually fairly spacious. Definitely get a full-size helmet in there, no problem. Uh, and then here, on the rear side plastics, all good. Indicator, exhaust, and exhaust guard on it, really, really good. Rear tire is perfect. 2012 bike, like I said. Onto the left-hand side now. It's all good here. Nothing to make note of. Airbox kickstart and electric start on her. No marks at all on this side, on this left hand side. Maybe a very minor one there. And then up to the top again, where we'll see the 2,594 kilometers. So now we'll move on to me uh, riding along on her to see what she's like when she's out on the road. All right, and we're away. We're on now, uh, this time the Giorno 50, 49cc Honda scooter from Honda, like I said. Really, really trendy little bike, Italian styled, with the Japanese reliability on the internals. So as I said in the visual analysis, the absolute perfect mix. All indicators, everything like that are working. It's just been serviced. Tires are good, mirrors are very nice, nice chrome mirrors, indicators look nice when they're on as well. So all good, nothing to really make note of, this is just to uh, show you exactly what to expect from a little 50 like this. She feels great on the road, she's keeping up well with traffic now, it's actually a good time to go out. Um, as uh, I think it's a Wednesday, so people are kind of uh, or schools are off early, uh, so there's a good bit of traffic out, uh, so we can test the filtering capabilities of her. There we are. So yeah, she's getting up to speed nicely. I'll tell you once we've hit um, 50 kilometres an hour. We're getting up to it now, and we're on it now. 50 kilometres an hour. We need to slow down, get in and out of this traffic here. But this is exactly what this bike is going to be used for. In and out of traffic like this. Perfect. Wonderful. Skipping past everyone. Just going to filter in here. Staying with the traffic. Uh, I'm also 6 foot 2. Or 187 centimeters for you guys out there. Uh, and I fit on the bike very well I actually even a lot of times I'll, I can get onto the a bike like this um, but steering is the problem I don't have much leverage on the steering but I have plenty of uh, space there to be turning left and right with it then as well uh, so you have plenty of under under the seat storage which I'll show you now you can have a look uh, which is great, you can definitely fit a full size helmet in there when you're locking her up and your lock and maybe a little bag as well. Um, but anyway now it's starting to lash rain so we'll just uh, skip past this light and get on to the next straight. Alright, thank god we're past the traffic lights now. It's just starting to lash rain, I hope my uh, GoPro doesn't uh, 
break in this rain. But uh, plenty of speed, as you can see, we're up to 50 kilometers an hour already from those lights, and we're surpassing traffic no problem at all. We're hitting 55 kilometers an hour now, which is fantastic. And we're nearing on 60. So the bike is capable of downhill 60 kilometers an hour, which is lovely. Uphill, we're going to do 50, so everywhere you're going to be able to do the speed limit, which is ideal on these little 50s. You don't want to be doing 40, 35, unless you're in traffic and it doesn't really matter, but in town especially, but around here on the N11 and such, if you're getting into town, you want that bit of speed. So um, I know you can't stay in the traffic or in the bus lane, I should say. So uh, really, I mean, people say you need 80 kilometers an hour, but at the end of the day, if you can do 50, stay in the bus lane, you're going to be going faster than everyone else who stopped in the traffic anyway. So what does it matter? I rode a 50 into college every day last year. Um, I rode a Zoomer and I didn't give a fuck because I was going past everyone. I might only been doing 50, 60 kilometers an hour, but I was getting in and out way faster than anyone else when they were stopped in their cars. God, it's just turned miserable. I'm sorry if the um, GoPro's lens is blurred here. I'll try to give you a wipe. Um, but you know, there's not much I can do. We're nearly finishing up now. I might even cut it early and turn off the GoPro just to try and save it. But uh, that's kind of been it then. Uh, I'll cut it early here. Um, the Giorno 50 49cc moped. Brilliant for in and out of traffic. Good speed, nice looks, drum front and rear, four stroke, plenty of, uh, very fuel efficient. What's there not to like? All right, if you have liked the video, please do like. Also comment down below what you think of the journey and finally, Subscribe if you haven't already.